Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Today I wanted to do one of these keychains. Now, if you've seen a previous video of mine, I did an unboxing of two different products. One was a, let me see if I can get this over here, a uh, diamond painting. These products are by Easy Whim and I will include a link down below to Easy Whim. Anything you purchase off their website via this link, you will get a 5% discount on. So I did receive that owl diamond painting, but then I also received a set of these five keychains. And I thought what we would do today is complete one of these keychains. Now, depending on how long the front takes, I'm not sure if I'll do the back also, or if it doesn't take real long, maybe we'll do a second one. But I think uh, by the time we get one done, that'll probably be, you know, enough time. It'll take long enough probably for that one. So. I have all of my special gems out here and I hope they're all there because Miss Madison got up on my desk and decided she wanted to get into this pretty little package and yeah she got everything out. She opened all these packages. Her little fingers were able to pull these open. I think I got all of them back in the correct packages, I hope. Um, so yeah, um, thank God she was not able to open these. That would have been a disaster. So um, let's see, I was thinking I would do this pretty purple and blue one. So I'm gonna put these on the side. I have a couple of my drill pins. These are ones that I made out of the Stabilo worker pins. I do have a video out there on how I converted these uh, pins into uh, drill pins. So um, if I remember, I will link that video down below. I have tried so many different drill pins um, from different people that were selling them and I still always come back to these. It's a non-slip grip. It's like almost a rubbery grip on the outside so they're very comfortable to hold but they're not as skinny as those pink pins and not as big as some of the others. To me those are a little uncomfortable after a while. These to me are just right. So uh, again if I remember I will link the video down below how I made these. All right, so um, as I am done with each specific color, I'm going to put that color um, into a baggie. Now, <laughs> I bought a box of baggies off of Amazon. I'll link these down below too in case you're interested in them. And I bought these for when I set up my system on how I'm going to keep all my round drills because all of the trays that I showed in some previous videos are all for my square drills. So I had nothing set up for round drills. So I bought, it's a box of 500. I couldn't get any smaller box, but these are resealable uh, two by three inch bags and they're nice heavy duty bags. And they're big enough to fit quite a few drills in. I know we do get some baggies um, in some of our uh, kits. Um, some of them are not real good and they're real thin. I like these because they're nice and thick. So I will link these down below too. So I thought what I'll do is when I'm done with a color, I'll put them in here. I have a roll of labels. I got these off of AliExpress, but I typically use um, an Avery label. It's a pack of a thousand labels. I'll link that down below too, that I normally use. Um, they're just a little bit smaller than this, um, but they work really good. So I figured I would label each baggie 
as I um, use as I'm done with each particular color. So let's get on with this. I'm excited to do this. It looks like so much fun. All right, I have two trays here in case I need one or the other. I got handy dandy tweezers because um, I figure the tweezers are going to work better for these large ones. Or actually, I could put these down because they're so big. I could put these down with my fingers. So, what shall we start with first? Um, because I don't want to work over the top of the big center, I think we'll maybe start on the outside. So we'll start with the eights. Choo, choo, choo. Where is number eight? Here we go. Let me grab my scissors. Okay, we'll cut number eight out. What other number do we need? We need eight, nine, and six. So we'll take number nine. I guess I'll just cut a few of these apart because they're going to need to be apart anywho. And that's number six. Okay. And then we need number one. Well, that makes it easy. And that's a big pack of white. So, but even though it's quite a few, that'll easily fit into my baggies because the baggies are bigger too. So, alrighty, let's start with number eight. Let's cut this apart. And let's see, do I want the big tray or the little tray? Oh, Bella's afraid to come in here because the kitty's there. I'll be right back. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Yeah, Bella was afraid to come in here because Callie was laying on the side there. and They're kind of scared of each other. I think I'm going to use this small tray and I'm just going to get them all in here. And then I will dump it in that other baggie. They're a little staticky. You know, I never have a problem with my square drills being staticky. I only have a problem. Well, I'll get the rest of them out later. I only have a problem with round drills. Ooh, aren't them pretty? Let me zoom you in so we can work on this and you can kind of see what I'm doing. Aren't them gorgeous? Ooh, ooh we have a blue hitchhiker. Alrighty, let's work on this. Can you see good enough? Oh, I think you can. Maybe I'll put these over here. And, whoops. I guess before I can do this, I got to take the, <laughs> the top uh, coating off so that we have a sticky canvas. This will probably be the hardest part of it all. I know I had getting it gotten getting I had getting it off the one. Here we go. All right. And yeah, they are nice and sticky. Okay. Here we go. Let's just hold the tip. Bella, why are you digging in my carpet again? I think these are going to be so pretty when they're done. I was thinking this would be kind of neat to give each of my kids for Christmas on their present. Whether they would actually use it as a keychain or not, I don't know, but I mean, you could put it on anything really wouldn't have to use it as a keychain right okay, let's move that one over a little yeah 
Yeah, I really had no idea how long each one of these would take. There's not, you know, a whole lot to do on it. And some of the gems, as you can see, are bigger once you get on the inside. And that's why I thought we would do the little ones are on the outside so we're not kind of going over the top of the bigger ones and also you do the gems that take the longest first <laughs> save the easy ones for last i love this color there we go. Oh, there's a green hitchhiker too. So pretty. Boy, there's a definitely going to be shimmery, shiny. And they definitely will need to be sealed good once they're completed and maybe I will do that on camera also um, the vast majority of us use it's called Tombow aqua glue and we have all tried many many different products um, for sealing our diamond paintings just to make sure that the drills stay on once the diamond painting is completed and the vast majority of them always seemed to have taken away some of the the a lot of the sparkle not all of it but a lot of the sparkle of the drills and that's why we like diamond painting so much is because of that sparkle when you get done right and yeah it just i mean they were still shiny but they weren't sparkly like you know like it should be and somebody i'm not even exactly sure who where it even started um, it kind of went from channel to channel to channel. Uh, discovered that this Tombow Aqua Glue works really, really well. And it does not take the sparkle away from the drills whatsoever. Now, I was going to be testing, and I haven't done it yet, and I don't think I'm going to do it on here, on these. Um, I was going to test, because it's quite time-consuming, especially if you have a larger diamond painting, um, which I have many, some of which are completed, many of which aren't. Um, it takes a long time to spread that aqua glue out. It does have a small applicator tip, um, probably for scrapbooking. And then the opposite side has a, it's more of a, I don't want to say a brush tip, but um, you can spread, it's a wider tip, so you can spread it out easier. But it's still, you know, even that end is still only like maybe an inch wide. So if you have a large diamond painting, it's still going to take you a long, long time to complete. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Can you see the sparkle? Probably not from your angle too much, but oh wow, from here it is glorious. All right, the next rim in is their nines, and then their sixes, but there are some eights here too, so. Okay. So what I was going to try, because, yeah, I, I did a couple of them with the Tombow Aqua Glue, like, uh, 
my Misty Kitty that I did for Jaden. I sealed in the aqua glue. That wasn't a huge diamond painting, but it was big enough. I think it was a 40 by 50 maybe. And yeah, that took me forever to seal. So I thought, because on diamond paintings, we're truly not gluing anything down where we really need the strength of glue. So I thought what I would try on just a sample diamond painting is watering down the aqua glue just a little and then spreading it with either a paintbrush or foam brush I'm not sure what will work better because the glue is very thick and so I thought well with watering it down maybe it would I mean I'm sure it would spread easier but I want to make sure that it is still going to seal the diamond painting well enough. I think it should. I don't think you would have to use it full strength, which also means another good thing is you wouldn't go through near the amount of glue because you go through a lot of glue sealing a single diamond painting. Now I have a lot of aqua glue because I found at, let's see, I think that's all the eights. Yep. Um, I found that through Michaels, you can buy bulk things and they're much, much cheaper getting bulk um, through the mail than buying them um, one at a time. So I bought um, the Tombow Aqua Glue bulk <laughs> because I figure I am probably going to need it eventually. Um, okay, so I got out one of my baggies. See how much room there is in that? <laughs> a lot of room. So I am going to get a label. Come up. I put this sticker on here so it wouldn't unravel. Whoops. Okay. And this one is number eight. Okay. So we have that one saved. Alrighty. Let me get this stuff out of the way. And number nine. So yeah, I bought a bulk. I can't remember. Yeah, how many? How many were in that? If it was a dozen, because I thought, yeah, with sealing all these large diamond paintings, I'm going to go through a crap load of aqua glue. But then the more that I was thinking of it, the more I thought, hmm, maybe we don't have to use this full strength, you know? Like I said, we're not using it as glue per se, we're using it as a sealer. These two colors look almost identical. I don't see a whole lot of difference. Hmm. And I'm right up close to it. <laughs> to you guys, I'm sure there does not seem to be a difference. Yeah, that's kind of strange. Even as I sit and stare at them, I don't see a difference. Weird. Whoops. I typically never have my <laughs> tray sitting because I work on a drafting table that I have at an angle, so I have to hang on to my tray of drills. So 
it's kind of weird to uh, have my tray sitting on the table but with this being so small and it being kind of sticky it's nice to be able to hang on to it these would be perfect to sit in your chair and do you know just kick back and relax kind of like I did when I did my kids uh, Christmas cards last year they were so much fun to do oh I loved them I'm gonna have to do some more for this year I hope they come out with some different cards because I think that was the only main set that I seen when I ordered them from AliExpress. I believe they're all on Amazon now too. Um, but even on Amazon it seemed like that was the one main set that they had. It was a set of four. And then I ordered a separate one for Bob to do. So his was a little bit different. And yeah, they seem to really like them. Matter of fact, Heather, I think, and my oldest daughter, Tanya, said, Oh, I should do that next year. <laughs> they really liked them. So that was fun. Bob's, of course, I had to do at night after he went to bed. <laughs> but yeah sat in my chair and did those it was just so relaxing I had a little lap desk that I worked on and yeah it was just fun and that's what gave me the idea of getting some smaller diamond paintings because I typically have all very large diamond paintings. I don't know how many 60 by 80s I have to do. I have enough to last me for five years, I think. And that's if I would work on them steady. I don't know what it is. I like the challenge of something big, I guess. You know, all the big diamond paintings. I have one coming. It's a custom that I had made. I know. I said I wasn't getting any more. This is the only one I have coming, but I just ordered it, so it won't be here for quite a while. Um but it should be just gorgeous and I had gotten a really good deal on it otherwise I probably wouldn't have ordered it Lord knows I don't need any more diamond paintings I think I have probably close to 50 here to do some of them being some of them smaller ones I had gotten from Amazon but like I said, many are really big, including this custom Green Bay Packer one I had made up. I really want to get that one done over the summer, too. Get it framed and up on my wall before football season. So, we'll see. Okay, that one's not right. So yeah, I have a lot of customs in there. A couple of really great big, uh, I think they're both 60 by 80s, uh, fairies with like sunsets behind them. Oh, the colors in them is just, they're gorgeous. And I want to put them up in my dining room where I normally put the Christmas pictures. I have one 60 by 80, so I have another one to go with that that I also have to get done. There's like a teddy bear and stuff like that in this particular one. I think I got all the nines in the one that I have done up on the wall already. 
and the other one that I have that's the same size, a 60 by 80, is a it's in the shape of a Christmas tree, but it's all teddy bears. So it'll go along with this other Christmas one. And so when it gets to be Christmas time, I'll take down the fairies and I will put up the Christmas one. Okay, and this is number nine. Whoops, don't touch that, Lisa. Okay, number nine. Okay, all right, moving right along, we have number six, and this is the really pretty blue again I know I don't need all these but it is just much easier dumping them in the baggie then oh we have a whole ton of hitchhikers in there do you see all them oranges holy crap <laughs> Wow, there must be a dozen of them in there. Somebody was not on the ball during that day. Mm-hmm. Okay. I hope you're able to see this okay. That my big hand ain't in the way. Oh, these are fun. I am thoroughly enjoying myself. And they have a whole bunch of different keychain sets. I found um, another set that I would really like to order. They're butterflies. Really pretty colorful butterflies. And I thought, oh, that would be pretty. Then my second favorite set is this set. I think these are so pretty. Love the colors in these. There was really pretty colors in the butterfly ones too, though. Oh, it isn't going to take too long to get one done. This is going much faster than I thought it was going to. And then, yeah, I think I'm going to do it on screen how I will seal this. And before I do that, I am going to test out mixing the Tombow Aqua Glue with water. And we'll see, maybe even that would be strong enough for these. I was thinking I would leave it full strength for these because they're going to get a lot more wear and tear. Um, so I'm not exactly sure how well they're going to hold up, but yeah, they're definitely going to have to be sealed really well. So I think for these I would definitely leave them full strength or leave the glue full strength. Alrighty, that was the sixes. Come on, straggler. There you go. So I love these boats with the funnel on the end. I had, when I first started diamond painting, I had used the regular green trays that didn't have the funnels and oh my gosh I would make such a mess <laughs> trying to get drills back in the containers okay number one is our pretty AB white gems drills so again I won't need near this many but I'm going to dump them all in here 
And there we go. The only one that was kind of staticky was that very first one. So let's get some over to the side. There's not a whole lot of ones on here. Okay. All right. These AB gems should look really pretty on here too. Couldn't tell if I had two of them there or not. Oh, they are shimmery. They almost look like seed pearls on here. When I am done, I'll try to get it at an angle so you can see all the parties on it like I am seeing it. Because I'm sure you are not getting the full effect. Oh, I forgot the sixes on the inside there. Oh, well, we'll just get them back out. Oh, that is so pretty. Wait till we get the special drills on. Ew. This definitely does remind me of when I did those Christmas cards. They're just something nice and small, you know, that doesn't take long to do. Wonder if they have any clue or any idea of what you should maybe seal these drills on with. Because like I said, these would definitely take some wear and tear, especially if you're using them as a keychain. I mean, they would get handled on a daily basis. So they would definitely need to be protected in some way or you're going to have drills coming off left and right. I mean, there is some really sticky glue on here and I'm definitely going to go over it with a rolling pin, but, or not a rolling pin, I got a little wooden roller, dual ended roller that I use. Let's get out another handy dandy baggie. And a little label. And this is number one. go back to the sixes. <laughs> uh, ah, yeah, leave it to me. I always do that on my uh, regular diamond paintings too. Invariably I will miss something and I always got to go back, fill some back in that I missed. You guys that do diamond painting, you always miss some symbols too. I think what makes me miss even more symbols is the fact that I do such big sections at a time. I know some people only do like maybe, you know, maybe a three inch by three inch section and <laughs> yeah, I do at least double that. I do great big sections because I figure the bigger the section I do, the less times the fewer times I have to get out each color. <laughs> Isn't that logical? It's called being lazy or efficient. Depends upon how you want to look at it. Oh, it is almost half an hour. 
Doesn't seem that long. Time flies when you're having fun. Yeah, this will be the only one we do, though. I guess I wasn't really thinking when I said, oh, maybe we could do a couple or we could do the front and back. But if you would like to see me do another one of these on camera, just let me know down in the comments below. They don't take that long to do, and we can kind of just chit-chat while we're doing this. Alrighty, pardon my arm. And I'm zoomed in, so you're just seeing stuff go by in front of you, aren't I? Kind of rude of me. Alright, okay. Now we get to get to the neat ones. So we have a number 12. Uh oh. Oh, must be in here. I'm like, oh no, I don't see that 12. Oh yeah, it's these big white ones. Okay. I thought maybe Maddie had lost the packet and everything on me. I was going to say, oh no. Now these are really pretty. They're big, they're like number ones, but they're big AB white gems. But I think, now we'll use the tweezers for these. I know some of the bigger ones you can still pick up with your drill pins, but this actually probably works better anyhow. Bella, you're digging through my carpet again. Oh, isn't that pretty? Then we only have the big one in the middle. Yeah, I'm glad I did all the little ones first. I think that just made it much easier. And these kind of tweezers really work good for this. If you look at it, it's got a hook that comes down rather than, where's my other ones? These came in a set um, that I ordered off of AliExpress. Um, these are just straight, and I don't like them near as much as the one that bends down like this. This is my favorite, and Maddie keeps losing them on me. I did finally find it again. And so now I put it in the top of my drafting table, where she typically can't see it. But you never know with that little stinker. Yesterday, I'm like, where did you get them from? She came. I said, what are you doing, Maddie? She's being way too quiet in here. So when she's being naughty, she likes to come in here because Grandma can't see her. Even though she doesn't know, Grandma peeks at her every once in a while. And I came in here. Here, the stinker. I knew she had taken a chair one of my rolling dining room chairs into the kitchen. And typically that's because she likes to play with her dishes in the water, in the sink. And I don't care if she does that. And so I guess I assumed, never assume, that's what she was doing. No, the little stinker went and got my salt and pepper shakers and dumped the salt and pepper all over my carpet in here. I'm like, oh gosh. Good heavens, girl. And we get the last pretty big purple one for the middle. If I can get the baggie open. I think Maddie got it open easier than I did. So yeah, I mean, she is just such a stinker. <laughs> You're, you know, typical two three-year-old because she is almost three now oh that is so pretty can you see the sparkle now yeah you can 
Oh my god, I love it. Oh, so pretty. I think I'm going to move this down just a hair. It's not quite centered. Maybe. Oh, uh, so we went from that to that. Oh my gosh. This makes me want to get the butterfly ones even more. <laughs> oh, isn't that cool? Love it, love it, love it. Like I said, I haven't seen any diamond painting keychains before. And then, I don't know if we should go ahead and do this or not on camera because I have no idea how to do it. Um, but, um, but, oh, I see. So then you just loop the chain through the hole. And pull that through. Put it through here. My fingers aren't cooperating. Never said it was going to be easy. Not for me, anyhow. Okay, and then we just put these together. Ah, oh, isn't that cool? And there is your blinged out keychain. Really cool. So yeah, now I'll have to do this side. I guess I shouldn't put the chain through yet, huh? <laughs> I'll just take it back off. Not that difficult. Let me zoom you back out a little anyhow, so you can see it all completed yeah really pretty the rhinestones really sparkle again the camera is not doing it justice <laughs> but you can kind of see it so that is that only took a half hour to do so to do both sides you're talking an hour and you would have it done and you can maybe even do it faster than I did. <laughs> uh, so, well, I hope you liked watching me make this uh, first side of this keychain. I think I may just continue on and do the other side and then I'll have one completed. And then, yeah, I'm going to look into sealing these. And uh, I may try one side and see how it does. And then I will do the other, when it's completed, the other side on camera. Um, for those of you who, especially for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, I got some questions on it in the previous video that I did on diamond painting regarding what sealer are you talking about? Is it, you know, to put down each drill? Or is it for after you're done? Or, you know, so I guess I didn't explain it good enough well enough <laughs> i'm speaking real good today um in that video so i uh, thought maybe it would be a good idea to actually show what the heck i'm talking about so okay that is it i really do hope you enjoyed watching this and if you did please hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you are new to my channel I hope everybody is having a terrific week and will have a terrific long Memorial Day weekend. And as always, happy coloring and happy diamond painting. Bye.